Okay. So I, my name is Suchita Srinivasan. Um, the invention I created this year is called Cura, a novel head to alerting device for the treatment of torticollis. Torticollis is caused by the abnormal twisting of the neck and it can be acquired or congenital. Without treatment, it can lead to issues such as spinal misalignment and more. In the United States, it's fairly common as one in 250 newborns have it and 90% of people experience at least one episode. Torticollis is something that I connect with very closely because I've had this condition since I was born and I wanted to create a device that would help other torticollis patients. Currently, treatments include physical therapy and neck braces, but the problem with these treatments are that Physical therapy can only be done for a few minutes per day, and neck braces are often very bulky and obvious to wear. And so the goal of this project was to create an invention that ultimately treats torticollis in a more effective manner. On the right, you can see what the hardware device looks like. It consists of a breadboard, an ESP32, an MP6050 vibration motor, and a button. Kira underwent two product evolutions. Um, there was the prototype one and the prototype two. In prototype one, there's two hardware devices, the earpiece and the wearable bracelet. The earpiece measured the user's head tilt, and when it went beyond a certain value, the wearable bracelet alerted the user via vibrations. However, due to issues in Bluetooth connectivity between the two hardware devices and the mobile application, a switch to prototype two was made, in which case there's only one hardware device, the earpiece, which both measures the user's head tilt and alerts them accordingly via vibrations. Some of the technologies used to create this project include Arduino for the hardware device, Flutter to create the iOS and Android mobile application, Firebase to store user information, and Bluetooth for the app and hardware device connectivity. Here is how the hardware device works. First, the user presses the button to calibrate the head tilt, and the MPU6050 constantly measures the user's head tilt. If the value goes beyond the threshold, the alarm is triggered, and the vibration motor vibrates, and the alarm count value is stored. On the Bluetooth data synchronization side, the hardware device and mobile application are checked to see if they're connected. And if so, the data is sent to the mobile app where it's updated in Firebase. To test my device, I wore it for an hour each day over the course of the week and it proves the technology works as intended. However, to view long-term improvement, the device will need to be, will need to be worn for at least a month. Um, however, since the device functions similarly to a neck brace or physical therapy in the sense that it prevents the user from tilting their head beyond a certain value, it simply just uses different technologies, it's believed to work as intended. Here are the benefits of Cura. It's discreet, for subtle, and seconds. inexpensive at $36.59, and it reduces the possibility of future medical ailments, and it's effective compared to current treatments. After speaking with experts such as torticollis specialists and those with similar neck pains and issues, they believe that this is widely applicable, not only in the treatment of torticollis, but for other issues such as bad posture as well. Some future considerations I have include researching more into the two-way Bluetooth communications to increase configurability and including in-app notifications for daily alarm count values. Ultimately, okay, I think- time. Thank you. Ultimately- go ahead, go ahead and finish your sentence. Thank you. Ultimately, I think Cura is a wonderful device and it's extremely helpful in treating torticollis and helping torticollis patients. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, judges, your turn. Uh, boy, anyone want to go first this time? <laughs> I can go first. Uh, That's okay. okay, go ahead. Yeah, uh, first of all, once again, thank you for teaching something new. I've never heard of this condition ever. Right. And uh, so that's very interesting. And you experienced it. So I want to know how long have you been working on this project? Because you have actually described uh, a pretty uh, you know, dense workflow and a number of uh, new learning. So how long have you been working on it? So I've been working on this project for the last year um, and I've been currently and recently I've been updating my mobile application to implement some of the future considerations that I've had on my slides. I'm including daily and app notifications and such because growing up, um, torticollis was a condition that I, um, I was kind of embarrassed to walk around wearing neck braces and I was, um, it was something that I wasn't really proud to have and I always wished that there was a device out there that could help me but it was more discreet in doing so. Um, and so this past year I decided to take those dreams and um, build something out of it. Uh, Marcelo, you want to jump in? Congratulations for your project. I, I work in the health area, so I think it's very important. You add a lot of value. My question is, what about the tests? The tests that you have with this product, with some physiotherapists, 
or some clinics that show that your solution is effective? Yeah, so I, because I'm a torticolis patient um, myself, I decided to test the product on me. So um, I wore the device for an hour each day over the course of the week. And over this last month, I tested it even more by wearing it for um, an hour each day. And I wore it for like two weeks. And you can really start to see, I could really start to see like the improvements because over time um, I kept on um, receiving less and less vibration alerts because I would start tilting my head less because vibration alerts are quite annoying. So it was a really good way of alerting the user and um, kind of preventing them from tilting their head and really kind of preventing future medical issues such as spinal misalignment. So by testing it over that period of time, I was able to see that it works for intended. Obviously, I would like to test it for longer periods of time to really see the long-term improvement. Okay, great. Said? I just have a very specific question. <clears throat> because your invention addresses the tilting of the head, do you recognize certain positions or certain times of the day when this tilt happens? So that is actually something that I'm currently implementing. Um, that's a very good idea. Um, as of right now, in my hardware device, it just kind of um, counts how many times they've alerted their uh, their tilted their head over the course of the entire day. Um, it doesn't really look at the day like times of day specifically. However, I am working to kind of implement that and um, split the day into multiple time periods and then show how many times they've been alerted each day in that time period. So that's something I'm currently working on. Great, thank you. Uh -huh. Very quick follow-up. Uh, how do you compare your invention with what else is available in the market to, to cure this problem? Yeah, so... Um, my invention is actually quite unique. The only two direct competitors I have, like I mentioned, the only two current really big treatments are physical therapy and neck braces. And those obviously have the limitation that physical therapy, you can't walk around like doing that every day. And then neck braces um, has the aspect they're very bulky and obvious. Um, many people don't wanna wear them. Some other devices that I've seen out there deal with issues such as bad posture. Um, so they're, they're meant to be worn on the back so that it helps with correcting the angle of their back and correcting their posture. So it addresses a completely different issue um, than the issue that I'm addressing. So currently my device is quite unique on the mar market. Okay, great. Thank you so much.